Hey everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Premium Firewood. Today is November 1st, 2024, which means it's inventory time. And it's also no, show, no shave November. I just got a haircut, just got a shave. And uh, I will be bringing the Santa beer back for the holidays. But back to the video. I'm gonna start over here at my brother, the self-proclaimed king of firewoods inventory. You can see where he's been splitting and stacking. He had a big uh, tree job he did this summer and he's just been slowly pecking away. And I do mean slowly pecking away at it, but it's all green and won't be ready till next year. Uh, his inventory consists of black locust, which is real good for heating. You got cherry and then you got silver maple. You can see what he has left to split and what he has split in there, hopefully. And I would say once all this is split and stacked, he'll probably have maybe 12 full cords in here, something like that. Over here, he's got a pile for mom. That's, uh, I don't know, that's still green, not ready to burn. He also took her up some nice wood, and that, but that's not dry, but it'll dry really good uh, being right there. Now, she does have some dry wood already up here that I've been bringing her. And uh, I've got other piles for her around the property, which you'll see here in a minute. Uh, right here uh, on Monday, Mike uh, went over to my Splier fills and got the rest of his uh, ready to burn ash up there in the front. And then the silver maple has been uh, uh, bucked up for over a year in stack. So I'd say that's fairly dry as well. Silver maple is easy to burn, and once it's mixed with the ash, it'll be good. All right, we're gonna work over here to my uh, bay number one storage area. You can see it is empty now. I try to only ready to burn wood goes into here. Right now, obviously, I'm storing the quad and the ultra, and uh, so we can park into the in the barn all four vehicles when uh, winter hits, and we keep this out here. But once it gets nice again, we'll park outside. But this this elm right here, Mike and I got this summer, probably back in, uh, I don't know, August. We cut and split and stack this. This stuff needed some time to dry. But I think by uh, the end of the year, that, stuff, that uh, elm will be ready. This uh, little uh, jag of wood right here, this is all ready to go. Just some mixed hardwood. I see uh, oak and ash in there. It's probably some elm, too. And then with that being bay one, this is bay number two. And I would say I probably got close to uh, six full cords in here. That, that, you know, the back, the, the sides, the perimeter is stacked and there's wood behind, uh, stacked behind that. Um, uh, in the springtime, when I start filling it, semi-season wood goes in here. But after May 31st, if we put any wood in here, it has to be ready to burn. And then over here, I have uh, bundles made for the store that I supply. My cousin Joe's been doing this. Uh, as many of you know, I, my left arm and hand has been paralyzed since July 28th. So I can't really make these, but he's volunteered his time. So he's got, you know, 30, 60, 90, 120. That, that should last the store. They don't sell as much during wintertime. I would say that would last them about six months. They, they don't have any in the back right now. The front's still full. So I'll probably take uh, 30 of them over to them. Uh, probably next week they might need some. So I'll take those over. You can see right here, there is no more a bundle of wood or process wood made. But I, I uh, the other day, yesterday, sorted out these out of uh, some wood you're going to see when I get down in the driveway. And uh, I'm going to see if uh, Cousin Joe can come here. I'm going to get this split after this video. And uh, then he can make bundles tomorrow if he's able to come out and help me do a delivery, split and deliver. I'll show you the wood here in a minute. So that'll probably make for the driveway stand 15 to 20 bundles right there because I do make them small. And then back in here uh, is my oak alley right here. This I only put ready to burn oak on uh, this little stack right here. Once it's full, it's uh, about a, a half cord that's like 12 foot and uh, that post is uh, up about four foot. So 
well, it's not quite full. It's about a, it's just under probably, a, it's probably a little bit more than a Joe cord there right now, which is a 10 foot by four foot stack. And then as you can see, we got a ton of oak back here. <sighs> this is all ready to go. That was split July 4th of 23. So it's been here for over a year and it was a uh, semi season when it went there. This, however, I was, uh, been here since like the spring and, and summer. We just topped it off a couple months ago, Mike and I, but I think, uh, I could sell this in the winter time if I had to, you know, January, February, I'll probably be selling it. <clears throat> this right here, this is ready. Nice, uh, beautiful oak right there, ready to go. Approximately a Joe cord there. And then this is uh, all white oak. I'm gonna take it to a pizza oven place that I supply when they order in December. And so they'll get 100% white oak. I'm sure they will like that. And I have a spot back here where I store between those trees, but I had a stack there that I sold to Gary, I believe. That's your name, Gary, with the blue truck, if you're watching. Um, he came and got that. He was real happy with it. So I need to fill that up with semi season. This right here is semi season. This stuff will not be ready this year, but by uh, next fall, that'll be ready to go. And same, same with this oak right here. It just needs to sit here. Once, once, uh, we get this, you know, whole row filled up, we've got those, those, uh, metal covers to keep the rain off it. This oak's all ready to go. It looks like about two Joe cords there. That's about 20 feet long, four foot tall, 100% oak, ready to go. It's uh, It's been there since February. So eight months sitting out here drying. That's the way to dry it. Over here, I have uh, my cherry area. That stuff that's covered up over there, That that is ready now. Uh, Mike brought it to me and it was pretty dry in the summertime. And so it's been there about three, four months. So it's ready to go, but I do need to fill this back up. And, uh, Phil has, uh, some ch uh, dry cherry rounds. I might get cousin Joe, if he wants to help me, uh, come over and get a load uh, on my truck and then split it right out of the truck right there. This right here is summer campfire wood. I had in the past been just piling them here and I just didn't like it. Just doesn't dry good. So I can't, I'm not getting as much wood here, but it's drying a lot better and I feel more comfortable. You know, the bottom pieces aren't going to get all moldy like, like in the past. So there's uh, several truckloads here, probably, you know, at least over two full cords. There's, you know, probably two and a half full cords right there. I want to make my way over to the truck. I want to give a shout out to uh, Jeremiah Outdoors in the 608. He likes these inventory videos. So hopefully you're still watching Jeremiah and Corey Classman likes them too. So if you are watching, why don't you let me know in the comments and uh, hit, you know, smash that thumbs up. All right, made my way back to the truck. And actually this is my second try doing the video because when I set the phone down, it fell out of the tripod. So. I just had to remake this video, but it's uh, it's kind of hard, you know, to do this stuff with just just one arm. And I just want to get you in a spot where you're not going to fall. Maybe, come on. Just all I got to do is start the truck. That's all I got to do. Put it in gear, shut the door, you know, everything with my right arm. Grab this, there you go, there we go. There we go, folks. All right. And then I got to drive with this hand too. So bear with me. Bear with me, folks. So I'm going off the road, out of the driveway. Only one arm. There's some uh, black locusts for mom we can cut up. Uh, come on. All right, folks. Remember, my left arm don't work. So there's more summer campfire wood. Um, I'd like to fill that all the way up there. This will be ready. There's some uh, sassafras and cherry and maple. And that's what I usually do with summer campfire wood. And then we're coming up to the uh, my boiler wood area. That's all boiler wood. 
and we got to make sure I don't fall down in this cul-de-sac or uh, a culvert or whatever. There's like a little little creek that runs through here when it rains. There's a spring up there, and uh, you know I apologize for the bumpiness, folks. But you try uh, you try filming it and uh, driving at the same time, you know, with one hand. So there's uh, more boiler wood right there, more boiler wood. And then I have a driveway stand up there that, like I say, uh, somebody bought 20, 20 bundles the other day. And uh, now I need to get more made before winter hits. Like today, I would consider to be too cold, too cold to, uh, uh, too cold to um, make bundles. Cause I've did it before in winter time and it sucks. All right, there we go. Yep, you know, I'm doing the best I can folks. I'm doing the best I can, one arm. All right, down here is uh, Hickory Haven. And obviously Hickory, Hickory Haven. So all this is Hickory. This is my greenest stuff right here. Uh, this is the stuff that I was working on when my uh, arm got paralyzed. So it's been here since, you know, summertime, you know, July, August. Joe helped me uh, split the rest of that there. And, uh, you know, there's over two Joe cords of it, but it's, it's green. And those are uh, rejects for mom. This is my driest hickory right here. This stuff's been here for over two years. I just had a customer buy from me and uh, he didn't want bone dry. This stuff I would consider to be bone dry for hickory. Yeah, but smokers, I don't know. Some of them want it green, some of them want it bone dry, and some of them want it in the middle. He wanted it in the middle. And then here's some uh, long cut black locusts that's been here for like two years. Like the one customer loves it. He just had a tree down, so he hasn't been buying from, as much from me. But this will be here when he's ready for it. And we got more of my rejects for mom. And then I've got some ready to burn black locust right here. And there, there's a, at least a, at least one more Joe cord. One customer has been taking it to him. I, I, I got another customer that'll that'll take it. He hasn't been burning yet though, cause it's been so warm, like a lot of other customers. And it was a mild winter. Over here, I've got this, uh, custom, oh, didn't even see this piece right here. Missed this one. Joe and I were just down here splitting. We missed this piece, so I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Um, but we got Oak, this, a customer traded me for a discount. Then we got a pile for mom. And then this is the stuff I was telling you about. If uh, Joe's able to make it up here tomorrow, we're gonna we're gonna split this and that. And if it's not enough to make a truckload or a face cord, which I don't think it is, we'll have to go up and split the stuff that's in the trailer. There's some uh, long cut stuff. I think I might just give that to mom. It's been here since 2020. I don't know. I I, I might sell it for camp firewood though. So, but the 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 stuff that has all that crap growing on it probably just give to mom and then here's like my stuff this stuff's been here uh since like last summer so this is the stuff i'm selling next Th the customer that uh he bought a cord here that's like eight foot in between there and we it was we measured it was about 43 inches tall so we took two two rows of that which uh is about a half cord and took and delivered to it in mike's truck with that we dumped out in the hit you know, the, the first delivery went in his dump bed. That's what they got. So, so that I can either sell that or that, just find out what the customer needs. This stuff was uh, 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 split in the springtime or uh, this, all this hickory. So, this won't be ready till uh, next year. So, we'll sell that first, then that, then this, then that, and then. When we start, uh, once that's gone, I'll start uh, refilling right there. All right, folks, I gotta upload this. Probably gonna go live, so you probably see the live stream before you see this video. Try to get this out at 3.45 today. November 1st, 2024, no shave November. Santa Beard's coming back. All right, folks, got some geese flying over, heading south for the winter, and uh, I don't know if you can hear them, but uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys 
on the next one.